In the last lesson, we learned what zero and negative exponents were and, and the rules. Um, and just a reminder, uh, a zero exponent just makes whatever it is equal to one. So for example, three to the zero power is going to equal one. And then a negative exponent means that you're going to rewrite it as a reciprocal, and then you'll change the sign of the exponent. So 2 to the negative 2 power is the same thing as 1 over 2 squared. So you write the reciprocal of 2 to the negative 2, but then you change the sign of the exponent. OK, so in this lesson, we'll just do, do a bunch of examples. And they're all different, so, so you'll probably want to pay attention for all of them. OK, 5 to the negative x power. Well, we know that a negative exponent means you rewrite it as a reciprocal. So we're going to write this as 1 over 5 to the x. And that's all you have to do for that one. Now the next one, the next one is 1 third to the negative 1. Now since this has a fraction, a reciprocal, you just flip the fraction upside down. So the denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. So what we do is, is we flip it upside down. So it's going to be 3 over 1. And that's raised to the, not the negative 1, but to a positive 1. So that's just going to be 3 over 1. And 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. So in this case, 1 third to the negative 1 power is just 3. OK, the next example, 0 to the negative 3 power. Well, when you write this as a reciprocal, it becomes 1 over 0 to the third power. And that's going to actually be, that's going to be undefined, because 0 doesn't have a reciprocal. So 0 has no reciprocal. So it's undefined. Undefined. OK, now 5 times 2 to the negative x. So we're going to rewrite that as 5 times, and we'll take the reciproc reciprocal of that. So it would be 1 over 2 to the x. And then we can multiply now. So 5, and remember when you multiply a whole number times a fraction, you just multiply the whole number times the numerator. So it becomes 5 times 1, which is 5, and it's still over 2 to the x. And that's your answer for that one. Now let's move on to the next example. And we have we have 2 times x to the negative 2 power times y to the negative 3 power. So we have 2 times, and I'll I'll just write write them with the reciprocals in. So 1 over x squared times 1 over y cubed. And that's going to equal 2 times, well, 1 times 1 is 1. Remember, when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. So you have 1 times 1, which is 1. And then you have x squared times y cubed. And then we just need to multiply everything times 2. And with the fraction, you just multiply the whole number times the numerator. So it becomes 2 over x squared times y cubed. And that's our answer. OK, so this next example, 3 to the negative 2 power times 3 squared. Now, there's two different ways we can do this. One is a way that you've probably probably already learned, and that's when you have the same base, when you have the same base when you're dealing with exponents, all you have to do is add the exponents together. So you can do 3 and a negative 2 plus 2, which is going to cancel out and equal 0. So you have 3 to the 0 power, and anything raised to the 0 power 
is 1. Now the other way we can do this is we can rewrite the 3 to the negative 2 as 1 over 3 squared and then that's multiplied by 3 squared. And when we multiply a whole number times a fraction, the whole number is multiplied times the numerator. So we have 3 squared over 3 squared, which is 3 times 3 over 3 times 3, which is 9 over 9, which is 1. So you'll get the same answer either way. Okay, the next example. We have, we have 2 to the negative third power raised to the negative 2 power. So the way we do this, you may remember one of the, one of the exponent rules is when you, have, when you have a power raised to a power, all you have to do is multiply the two exponents to get your answer. So we can do 2 raised to the negative 3 times negative 2, which is going to be 2, well, negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. So it'll be 2 to the 6th power, which when you, when you multiply that out, you'll see that 2 to the 6th power is 64. Okay, this next one, 5a to the negative 2 power. Okay, we're going to write the reciprocal, so 1 over 5a squared, which is the same thing as 1 over 5 squared times a squared. And I'm going to draw the rest of it down here. So you have 1 over, well, 5 squared is 25, and then you still have the a squared. So it's 1 over 25 a squared, and that's our answer. Okay, the last, last example is 1 over, and let me draw a line just to separate it. We have 1 over d to the negative 3n. Okay, 1 over d to the negative 3n, and we can write that well, we can write the we can write this whole thing as a reciprocal, which would be d to the negative three n, and it's over one, but I don't have to write the over one raised to the negative one. So in this one, we're actually going backwards compared to how we've been going. So we'll write the reciprocal of this. So you flip it upside down and you change the sign of the exponent. And the exponent right now is 1, so you change it to a negative 1. So instead of writing it over, over 1, we don't need to write the over 1, because anything over 1 is just the same thing as the numerator. And then we'll raise it to the negative 1 power. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can use the power of the power rule, which says that you all you have to do is multiply the two exponents. So now we have d to the negative 3n times negative 1, which is going to equal d. Well, negative 1 times negative 3n is going to be a positive 3n. So d to the positive 3n. And that's going to be your answer. OK, I hope this is starting to make a little bit of sense. In the next lesson, we'll actually explore graphing some of these some of these exponential functions